All right, folks, welcome back to my channel. Charlie and I are ready to get started. We're just gonna, I'm gonna meet you back here and we're gonna get started in our gentle walk. So let's go ahead and just go. All right, so we're starting with our gentle walk today, as always. We're just gonna start to move, start easy. Today, we're gonna be here for about one and a half miles. So that's gonna be about 3000 steps. All right, Charlie's ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna go ahead and set my watch. As always, it's under indoor walk. I can keep time for us. You can set your watch if you'd like, or just um, I'll, I'll take care of it, okay? So you just trust me. Charlie is squeaking his toy. Come on, buddy. Here. Up here. All right. So four basic steps. We're doing the first one right here, just walking it out. Find your breath, find a rhythm. Nice job. And then let's take our next step. We're just gonna take side steps out and back. So just a gentle step out and back. Keep it kind of light right now. Eventually we'll get into a deeper squat. So just moving the hips back and forth, side to side. Getting those muscles of independence healthy and strong and active. So these backside muscles, the glutes, the hamstrings, the hips and the thighs. For five, four, three, two, one, walk it out, keep going. If you're new to my channel, hello, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. It's so much fun to take you on a journey with me, taking a little walk in the living room. <laughs> so my name is Emily. I am a yoga teacher, a registered nurse and a wellness professional. And I created this channel for folks just like you and me, who wanna feel strong, confident, and healthy in our own skin and bodies. So I thank you so much for pressing play and we're going to walk it out. We're gonna get sweaty and have a whole bunch of fun today. Getting our steps in. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see my next move. We're just gonna take some kicks here. So just kick it out and kick it out. I like to activate through the arms so maybe opposite hand reaches towards opposite toes. If that's not serving you, you can always just place the hands on the hips or do something that feels good. Nice job. I'm going to count us out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Return to your walk. So we always return back to this home base of walking. If you want to get the knees a little higher, find your breath. Always just gentle inhales in and out, the natural breath pace. You might check, take that uh, talk test. So see, as we move through the workout, see if you can say a couple of sentences or one or two words. If you feel a little winded, maybe back out, slow it down, jump in when you're ready. Breathe. All right, next move is gonna be our knee lifts. So it's just a lift up and a lift up. Maybe opposite hand taps the opposite knee and get moving. This is a full body workout today. So we're getting the bo lower body active. We're also gonna get arms and core involved. Everything's gonna be activated, strong and healthy. Here we are, five, four, three, two, one. Return to your walk. You don't need a lot of equipment for these walks. So, one thing I want you to have close by is some water. Always take water breaks. Um, the only other thing, sometimes we use weights. We're not gonna use weights today, but if we ever do, I will let you know ahead of, or ahead of time. And then shoes are optional, of course. So you just need some space in your own home. You know, I'm in my living room. You could do this anywhere in your house. This is a great activity. Right now it's January. <laughs> Um, it snowed quite a bit yesterday and, um, you know, a lot of us don't want to work out outside. So the walking programs might be on hold until it turns to spring and it's nicer weather. Here we go. Let's take those knees, knee up and knee up. So this is a great way to stay healthy indoors and not battling the weather or even traffic, trying to get your workout. Nice job. We made the commitment to get your workout in today and I applaud you for that. You always inspire me. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoy these workouts, please leave me a comment. Let me know how I'm doing, how I can best serve you. Five, 
four, three, two, one. Return your walk. Try to keep these videos nice and light and fun. And this is a workout for everyone. So I started indoor walking with my mom when I was in high school. And I've been doing it now for almost 20 years. I love it. I'm actually training for a couple half marathons coming up in the spring. So this is a great way to keep me active and motivated. Whew. We're about five minutes in. Nice job. All right, side steps. Create some space here in your room. When you're ready, out and back. Maybe you get that little squat in this time, deepening the, the lowering down a little bit more. Whew. High energy, feel strong. Set your pace and let's go. Yeah, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. By now you should be feeling warm. Muscles are strong. Muscles are warmed up. Let's get the upper body moving. Here we go. Hands to the shoulders, reach up. Hands back to the shoulders, reach out. Yeah, up and out. Blow out that air, find that rhythm, and keep moving for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Walk it out. Get the knees a little higher, and a little bounce in your step. Nice job. All right, get some kicks in. Let's go. Kick it out. And kick, and kick. Go at your pace, all right? I had me a lot of coffee this morning. <laughs> I am energized and ready to rock and roll. Go for it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Return to your walk, let's go. Take some arm circles one way and the other. Your range of motion. Okay, big or small, just activate through those shoulders, release and shake it out. Nice job. Take the feet wide here. Just widen your stance. Feel those hips. You feel that? Keep going. Bring the feet back together, walk it out. Let's keep doing that. Here we go, widen your stance. Four, three, two, one, bring it back in. Again, out. Out. We're not learning dance moves. Four, three, two, one. If you ever get slipped up, you need to just kind of return to that home base. This walk is where we are at. Okay. You can always return to your walk. Let's take that one more time. Wide stance. Yeah. Go. Oh. For four, three, two, one. Return to your walk. Take your high knees up and up. And like I said before, we always return to our walk. Activate through that core. Maybe find a little twist from side to side. See if you can bring the belly button towards the spine. So activating the full 360 core, back body and front body for five, four, three, two, one. Wow, go ahead and walk it out. Find that breath. Keep walking. Let's take some arm circles or just sweep the arms overhead and then drop them down. Big circle here, up and down. We'll do one more. Here we go, up. Exhale, release it down. Then take some modified jumping jack. Now, if your heart is in full jumping jack mode, go for it. If not, just watch me jump in when you're ready. All right, here we go. So it's going to start with a toe tap, toe tap, out and back. Yeah. You can stay right here or bring the arms up when you're ready. As your leg goes out, arms go up. Yes. I feel it. I hope you feel it. Get sweaty and strong together. Charlie's loving it. <laughs> here we are. Five, four, three, two, one one walk it out let's go Three thousand steps you got this new year new you right when you commit to your 
daily exercise program, you are making a change in this world, right? And you're inspiring others. People around you see that you are making positive impact for your own body, mind, spirit, and soul, right? So you are making a big ripple of change when you work out. Here we go. Bring the knees up, up and up. Find that breath, maybe blow some air out. Opposite hand to opposite knee when you're ready. Nice job. We are five, four, three, two, one. Return to your walk. Keep it going. Where are we at? Over half a mile. Got about one mile to go. Take your side steps. See how much space you have in your room. And then we're just gonna go out, come back in, sink those hips down. Yeah, get a little bit lower. Watch the knees. We don't want those knees to track too far past the toes and protect those knee joints and the ankle joints. Take that breath test. Maybe grab a sip of water if you need it. Jump back in when you're ready. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. Yeah, arms moving, full body moving here. Arms out to a T-shape. I'm gonna pulse back for three, two, one. Big hug in. Open arms, palms face backwards, and then pulse it out for three, two, one. Awkward hug, opposite hand over top. Nice. Again, two more times. Pulse the arms. Three, two, one. Hug. Last time. Open, palms face backwards. Pulse. Two, one. Awkward hug. Let it go. All right, I'm gonna challenge you. Stay with this walk or bring the knees a little higher. If you want a little bit more, we're going to try this boosted walk. So we're going to be here 30 seconds. You got it. Jump in, try it. Step back if you need to. All right. Five seconds here. Three, two, one. Boosted walk. Here we go. Bring the knees up. Yeah, swing the arms. Get those feet off the ground. Let's go. I do have a watch I'm watching here. We're 15 seconds in. Go for it. Feel that breath. You got this. Keep going. Yes. For five, four, three, two. One, return your walk. Nice job. Move it. Walk it out. Yeah. I love it. Great job. Ooh, breathe. Find the breath. All right. Nice job. Be kind to your knees, okay? Maybe no jumping if you've had issues with your knees in the past. Find your breath. Let's find those kicks. Here we go. Kick, kick reaching forward powerful kicks here strong kicks eight seven six five four three two one return to your walk let's go all right i want to send a shout out to my grandma <laughs> i've been making these videos for a while now she does them every week with us she is 84 years young and she's a powerhouse. So if she can do this workout, you can too. Trust me. Great for all ages, all seasons of life. And you can always modify this, right? Just depending on your range of motion, your ability, you can always pause the video, come back. Find that breath. You know, the American Heart Association recommends 30 minutes of cardio or aerobic activity five days a week. Now that can be broken up into shorter increments, like 10 minutes here, another 10, and another 10. As long as you're moving, you're getting that heart rate up, breathing is increased, that is that aerobic activity and is so good for this powerful heart muscle. You know, probably the most important muscle in our body is our heart. We gotta keep it strong. 
Take some knee lifts. Here we go. Up and up. Powerhouse. You are a powerhouse. You're a rock star. Stay with it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. Go. Take the knees wide. We're almost at a full mile. We're so close. Wide stance. We're going to take our kickbacks. Here we go. We're going to kick one leg back and the other. Find your rhythm. We're balancing here. So we're standing on one leg a little bit longer. Hands can be on the hips or you can reach them up to the sky. I'm not feeling super coordinated today, so I'm going to stay right here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Return to your walk. Be here 20 seconds. And then we're going to go back into those kickbacks. We're going to do double leg kickbacks. We're going to kick it back twice. There we go. Grab that water if you need it. Check in with the breath. Five, four, three, two, one. Wide stance. Get that motion. Feel the legs turned on. Double kickbacks. Here we go. One, two, one, two. Keep it going. Oh yeah. You're feeling it. I know you are. Here we are. Five, four, three, two. Last one on this side. One more time on this side. Even it out and then return to your walk. Wowzers. We hit one mile. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. Keep going. We are well over halfway through and it's been a little bit more than 16 minutes here. So that is, we are flying. Yeah. Let me know what you're training for. What do you, you have races on your schedule ahead? Let me know. Half marathon, a 5K, bike races. What are your goals for this year? Please drop me a line. You inspire me so much. I love to hear from you. What are you working on right now? All right, guys, widen your stance. You're gonna like this one. We're gonna slow it down here. And then we're just gonna take a little baby pulse. Okay, so toes are kind of turned out and then just pulse up and down for me. Yeah, so it's like a mini squat up and down. Let's go. You can get a little bit lower. We got 10 seconds. Woo. Yeah. For five, <laughs> four, three, two, one. Walk it out. Nice job. My voice is cracking. I'm getting over a cold, so I apologize for that. Find those high knees. Knee up and knee up. Five, four, three, two, one. Return to your walk. Well done. Let's take those jumping jacks again. So get those toes moving out and back. A little toe tap and tap. Bring the arms when you're ready. I hope you are enjoying this music. Find your beat. Find that rhythm. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, walk it out. Good job. All right, I always say we're not learning dance moves, right? That's not the goal of this. But what we are doing is coordinating the left and right hemispheres of the brain. So anytime we do any of this cross lateral activity with the body or standing on one leg, that is really activating our minds and integrating our bodies, right? So that's really special, really important at all levels, all stages of our wellness journey. Nice job. Keep those arms moving. How about we go up and back? Ready? Up, maybe a little clap, and back. How much room you got? You know, we use what we have here. There is nothing fancy, no fancy equipment needed. 
We all need a treadmill, fancy running shoes. We just need a positive attitude. We need that energy to get moving and some motivation. So I hope that's what we bring to these classes together. Here we are, one more time back, one more time forward, and then walk it out with me. See if you wanna pump those legs. We're so close. Let's get that boosted walk. Bring those knees up a little higher. Ooh, check in. We got 30 seconds right here. Go. Go for it. Go for the gold. Oh yeah. We got 10 more seconds. You got it. Keep moving. See if you want to go a little bit faster. Five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. Nice job. I like to think of myself as your cheerleader. So your gentle stride guide cheerleader. <laughs> More on that in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I want you to stay positive. Have, have a good experience when we work out together. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's widen our stance. Yeah, sink it down. Oh, get those legs moving. Nice job. I'm going to show you a new move. As always, just jump in if you want to try it. If not, skip it. So it's a single leg crunch in. So bear with me. We're going to slow it down. Crunch one leg in. Yeah. Second side. Yeah. Crunch. Crunch. Yeah. Maybe tap opposite toe. Let's do it that way. Woo. Well, there's obliques turned on. And go for it. Eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. <laughs> this is a sweaty workout today. Whew. This is a challenge and I love it. I hope you do too. Keep moving those arms. We're going to make those into doubles. Okay. Widen the stance. Jump in when you're ready. Here we go. Double, 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 double. Engage the core, 360 core. Wraps around the whole body. Maybe get the arms a little higher. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Nice job, work it out. Go for it, go for the gold. <laughs> We're so close to our mile and a half, 3,000 steps. That is amazing. Take some toe taps, gentle toe taps, out and out. Yeah. You feeling it? <laughs> Go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Walk it out. Pump those legs, pump the arms. Keep going, let's take some kicks. Turn to the side, here we go, kick it out. Strong kicks, powerhouse. Whew. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Return to your walk. Take a wide stance here, just walk it out. Slow that air out. Keep those legs moving. You are so close to being done with the walk. Oh, here we go. Walk the legs back in. Pump the arms. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> one and a half miles. Nice job. Keep moving. Let's slow it down though. Just bring the toes out and back gentle side steps. Where are we on time? Oh man, 23 minutes, close to 24 minutes for a mile and a half. I'm so proud of you. Slow it down. Baby steps here. Gentle, gentle. Yeah. All right. Widen your stance, wide base of support here. Just take a big breath in and inhale. And exhale, drop the hands down. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. 
exhale, sweep the hands behind, interlace the fingers, and then gently pull the elbows down as you lift the gaze up. Let that go, shake it out. Nice job. I'm gonna press into the left foot, step the right foot behind for a lunge, turn this way for you. You can absolutely have a chair, a wall, something here for some support. Bend through that left knee, bend through that right knee also. Back heel is lifted. <sighs> hands on the waistline, just go ahead and slowly start to walk the hands forward as you find a little hinge in the hips. <sighs> yeah, nice job. Step that right foot forward to meet the left, and then we'll take it to the other side. Press into the right foot, left foot steps back, lunge, high lunge. Find that footing, strong foundation in the feet. Heart is lifted. Gently, hands to the hips, start to walk the hands out as you find a forward fold. Yeah. So good. Step that left foot forward one more time to the, turn to the front, widen your stance, inhale, flow the arms. Exhale, drop it down. Well done, everyone. Huge, huge applause for you. That was not easy. I am so proud of you though. 3,000 steps. I wanna tell you something. I, you know, you might know, I love to write. Look how sweaty I am. I love to write. I wrote you a um, little walking program guide. It's called the Gentle Stride Guide. So like I was saying, I love to be your cheerleader. And this guide is um, lots of information about how to get started on a general movement program, including a walking program. You can see I got the four basic moves. It's in color. I have it in black and white here. Um, I have a calendar for you to mark down your workout so that you can stay motivated. And there's tons of info in here about how to stay motivated with your workouts and um, stay active at all stages of life. So grab that on my website. There's going to be a link down below so you can snag that. And um, I'll see you again next week. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this. And Charlie and I really um, appreciate all of the support. Leave me a comment if you like this. Um, and then check out the rest of my videos. See you again soon. Bye-bye.